<laughs> Couldn't tent the whole field. <laughs> Sometimes we can't do everything. We wish we could have it. But have you watched tape on BYU? Yet? Yeah, a lot. We uh, started yesterday. Um, very physical. That's what they're known for. You know, I grew up. Uh, you know, Oaks Christian sent a lot of guys to BYU, so you know, I know a few guys over there, and um, they get after it up there. They play, you know, tough football, hard nosed football. Um, very together, we play discipline, so we're excited. Uh, it's a new opponent for us. Um, you know, we never really get to, you know, to play a, a BYU, so I'm excited to see what that's like and you know, get after it in the Rose Bowl. Both of their games have gone down to the wire. How confident are you guys that you're ready for? the close games when they start to come? Um, I think the uh, the only way we can really judge that right now is by the past, how we've handled you know, tough games and close calls and going into overtime and um, just battling through a lot of adversity. I think that's kind of what Coach Moore puts us through is a lot of adversity and a lot of tough situations and a lot of you know situational practices. So um, I think that uh, you know, we'll be ready for it. Uh, we know it's going to be a tough and you know, hard fought game, so you know, we're just getting ready for it. Not to degrade UNLV, but how do you do a transition when obviously you were able to like break some tackles against UNLV and BYU might be a bit of a more physical team? Right. Um, you just got to stay with who you are. Um, you know, believe in, you know, whatever philosophy you believe in for yourself. Um, you know, mine is just catch the ball, get first downs, and, um, you know, break a few tackles if you can and try to score. I think that's my MO right there. So, um, you know, I, I kind of go into every single game with the same idea, the same philosophy. Um, for me personally, um, I can't speak for the rest of the guys, but um, to answer your question, you just prepare. You know, I think uh, you come out here and you just prepare the same way as you do for, you know, the you're going to do for BYU. So uh, we're excited. It's going to be a great game. After having so much success, success in the passing game against Virginia, how did Josh handle the less success? Um, he's fine. Uh, you know, he, yeah, he's a he's a stud. I always say that he's a stud. Uh, he's a fantastic player, a fantastic person. Um, he knows when he makes mistakes. He's not scared to say that he made a mistake. Uh, sometimes tough for a lot of people uh, to admit you made a mistake. So um, he's right back. He's right back to work today. Came back to work. Uh, you know, ready to get after it. So um, you're gonna play subpar sometime in your life. Care what it is, um, and for him, I you know I guess that was a second game. I guess you know, the, um, you know we're just ready to get after it. Uh, he's ready, so we're excited. How's he doing in terms of leadership as a quarterback? Fantastic. You know he just turned 18 maybe six months ago, so um, I think that I I haven't seen an 18 year old take uh, leadership on like he has. So um, he's a fantastic kid to be around. I'm excited for him, uh, and we're just ready for this one. What kind of things does he do that make you guys feel confident in him as a leader? Um, you know? Throw touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he just, uh, he's just a fantastic person. Sits in the front, you know, always has a sharp, uh, he always comes to meetings prepared, notes everything down. He, uh, he has a lot of input in what, what calls go out there, and a lot of guys don't do that at his age. They're more just the, uh, you know, the, the puppet that just say whatever, but he has, you know, he actually, him and Coach Rizzoni have a great uh, relationship where they can both feed off each other with play calls and things like that. So um, it's just great to see that, you know, a young kid uh, has really worked that hard and understands football with that type of knowledge. So um, that's what type of answer, that's what type of leader is. When a team has players that are kind of getting into their mid-20s, does that manifest itself on the field at all? Talking about BYU? Yeah. Um, I'm not so sure, you know. I mean, I guess going into college at my age would be, would be nice, but um, I don't even think about it. Yeah, I haven't even thought about that, to be honest with you. Um, I know they go on their missions. A lot of guys from high school went on their mission. Um, but, yeah, you know, you definitely can come in with a more mature mindset. But overall, for me, it's just – they're just they're players at the end of the day. And I don't care about your age, I don't care about you know where you're from at the end of the day. You know, you line up in your uniform, I line up in mine and I have to play ball.